Monday means back to work for the Virginia women's soccer team. After a 5-0 first round victory over St. Francis, the team convenes to analyze game film from the contest. Even in lopsided wins, there are lessons to be learned ahead of Friday's second round matchup with Georgetown. We had, uh, against Virginia Tech, we had 358 passes. We completed 286. We got 80%. One of the few times we actually got below our 85%. We had 630 passes on Friday night. 630, we completed 91%. The biggest thing for me was our decisions were right based on the game. Based on where the space was, the decisions were correct. We weren't jamming it down the middle, we were using the width, we were getting decent crosses in, and we were getting good movement off the ball in the box. Steve takes us back and lets us process the game over the weekend, and then we come back and look at the game. And I think it's helpful for me and my teammates when we just take a step back and look at the field like in a different angle or just look at things that, that you might have missed. Steve shows opponents film every now and then but he likes to focus on us and what we have to do and what we have to offer. But the really big thing that we like can learn from is movement change or spacing between our front, back, lines. I think it really helps us in a lot of different ways. Great movement. Look at that run there by Mac. I like that. And then this was just a good little find here. It was a great early ball and a good decision and a good finish. It's awesome. It's you're able to see things that you maybe didn't realize or you're able to see things that you can't see on the field. We can only do so much physical activity, so to get our brains working more off the field, mentally I think it just prepares us for the game and um, allows us to break down other teams and break down our own team into um, our strengths and weaknesses and um, what we can improve on. You get the sense, Virginia finding its time. Steinlogge unloads just over the crossbar. This is close to our bull zone, and I'm okay if she's moving forward on this, okay? But we're in. Tell me about your shot. Tell me about your technique. You lean back, okay? You lean back, and you stay back, and that's why that ball goes over. And we consistently didn't put that. I think if you put that on frame, that's going to be full. Polaprico with Michelle cycling behind her. Polaprico wants the center. Does so, hit it in. Score. There is the hat trick. For Mackenzie Donia. We can step back and then focus on little things like make sure we pick someone on the cross or just even our shape, making sure we're having good timing off and on for runs. Today the coaching staff provides the team additional examples of their style of play from international competition. If you watch Japan, you can see a lot of our style in Japan, I think. Um, just watch the way they move the ball, the way they move off the ball. Very, very good team. That's a great change. But watch, watch how he. I mean, that's just clinical. I mean, you see, he's just picking his spots out. If you watch him, he doesn't, he's not leaning back. He's the inside of his foot. Pretty cool. All right, today we're going to do some, uh, like, do a little defending work. So we we'll start off, you'll play the counter goals, and then we're going to do an 11 v 11 controlled scrimmage. Okay? Okay? Alright, let's go. Let's get a good practice now. 